entire play show. We're in Sprinkers, New York, going to the Stockyard Public House slash Rub and Butts Barbecue. So this is our first time in town here. We're going inside this place. They're known for their barbecue, their pizza, their sandwiches, their burgers. They got a big menu. Plus we got some music going on outside tonight. So why don't we go inside, check out the place, meet Dave, see what he's got planned for us. Come on, follow me in. I'm at the Stockyard Public House slash Rubbin' Butts Barbecue. I'm with owner Dave Ward. Dave, how you doing tonight, buddy? Good, good. It's good to be here, man. It's a rainy night, cool night, but it's a perfect night for some barbecue and, and some good food here. And it always is a perfect night for barbecue. It always is, right? <laughs> so tell us, Dave, a little bit about this place and a little of the history behind it. Um, well, I personally bought the place 10 years ago. Okay. We opened it as a Tex-Mex Steakhouse. Um, in the past, it's been a, a biker bar. The building, as you see it here, actually burned down and got rebuilt about 60 years ago. Okay. So, and it's had a pretty storied past. Mm -hmm. um, most of the people in this part of the state remember it as a lamppost. Okay. And then going forward, going back about 20 years, it was uh, tumbleweeds. Okay. Um, biker bar barbecue, bands, nightclub, mm -hmm. and then when I took it over 10 years ago, we renamed it, and that's where we are today. today. Yeah. yeah. So now I see the decorations here. You got the John Wayne movies on, you got the Stockyard Station. It's just a really cool place. You feel like you're in the Western when you walk in this place. Yep. So talk a little bit about the type of menu and the type of food. Obviously, barbecue is your big thing, but yep. do you have any other stuff on, on the menu? Um, we got a little bit of everything because we're in... We like to say that we're in the middle of nowhere and 20 minutes from everywhere. Okay. So all of your little local towns out here, Esperance, Dwaynesburg, Cobleskill, Richmondville, Canajahari, mm -hmm. Fonda, we're 20 minutes from all those wow. places. Okay, so you're sensibly so, okay, you're perfect. Yeah. So as far as the menu, to draw the people out here, we have a pretty wide variety of stuff. We do everything from pizza, and some of our more popular pizzas are the, the Midnight in Texas pizza with brisket on it. Ooh. Uh, pulled pork pizza, which is basically a pulled pork sandwich with coleslaw on top when it comes out of the oven. That's um, interesting. Yeah, we got the, the Pistol Pete burger, which has coleslaw and pulled pork on top of it. <laughs> that sounds so good. You know, I was trying to look at the menu a little bit before I come to a place, kind of figure out some of the stuff we want to try. And I just said, there's so many choices. You got a lot of good choices. Oh yeah, our, our most popular pasta is the uh, barbecue mac and cheese, which we make a nice mac. Our mac and cheese has bacon and all of it. Oh wow. And then we add the goodies at the end with the pulled pork for the barbecue mac and cheese. Or if you want lobster, we got the live lobster tank. Really? And we pull a lobster out and pull it apart for you and throw it right in the mac and cheese. You gotta be that fresh, so, right out of the water into the oh mac yeah, and cheese. Or you can just get a whole lobster with your dinner if you want. Where are you gonna come out in the middle I, of the redneck country and get a lobster? That's <laughs> awesome, I love it. Well, I'm looking forward to it, Dave. It's exciting to be here, I'm really glad to be here. Next, we're gonna hit the kitchen, we're gonna order some food, see how that's prepared for us, and then we get to try all this good food. So, Dave, thank you so all much right. for having us come out tonight. Forward, I appreciate sure. it, buddy. Thanks. All right, I'm with some friends I met tonight. How are you guys doing tonight? Excellent. I had to come over because I saw the steak, I saw the pizza, it looked really good. So tell us a little bit about that steak that you had tonight. Steak, I got the ribeye, uh -huh. medium well. The steak came out about the size of the plate. <laughs> it's probably one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. Okay. I rate it 10 out of 10. It, it looks really juicy, it looks per cooked perfect. Absolutely cooked perfect, this place is amazing. Awesome. So, what did you guys have for dinner tonight? I had some onion rings as okay. well as the Texas Twinkies and the fajita salad. Okay, we're, we're good. How are the Texas Twinkies? Delicious. Are they? Yeah. Are they a little spicy? Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, if you like it, honestly, yeah. It okay. doesn't hit you too hard. So. Okay. But if not used to jalapenos, of course. Yeah, definitely. All right, we're with Matt and Carolyn tonight. How you guys doing? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It looks like you got some really good meals here, some hearty meals. What do you guys got tonight? Go ahead, Carolyn. Uh, I got the enchiladas with chicken. Ooh, enchiladas. Yeah. They, they look huge. Yeah, they're good. You get two of them on a yeah, plate. Yeah, they're massive. Right. 
got? And what do we got here? We I have the uh, chicken penne, three cheese chicken penne alla vodka. See, now I wouldn't expect these dishes at a barbecue place, but, but they kinda, look. It's got a barbecue flair to it. Yeah. It's like all the food here is really good, yep. like the pizza and everything. Yeah. But it doesn't taste conventional, but it's just like delicious. It's different. It's so, it's like, it's different. That's what's like good. Yeah. Like yeah. the chicken wings here are the best. Yeah, we got the spicy barbecue wings. So okay, now do you get the uh, char grilled ones or do you get the deep fried ones? Deep fried ones. The deep fried, deep fried ones. Yeah. yeah. The atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Very good atmosphere. Yeah, it is cool. And then you were saying about the pizza yeah. tonight. Yeah, uh, Tuesday night you buy one, you get one free. That's a great, that's a great deal. We don't have a place like that around our weekend. I do that every, th I do that every, every Wednesday. Yeah, How is the pizza? Uh, it's good. Try it, one. It looks good. Like, try one. Go she doesn't know how much food we eat during our show, but I, I that does look really good. Oh, yeah, take one. I, mean, I got another one to go home. Oh my God. Do I try a piece of this pizza? Do I try a piece? Okay. You don't mind? No. I, 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 we've been doing the show seven years. I don't think I've ever stolen a, a piece of food from a table, but she's going to let me try a piece. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try it. This will be a first on our show. Seven years that I'm eating off somebody's table. Oh, that's good. It's the, I like the thin style pizza. Cheese is good. It's cooked perfect. No flop to it. Exactly. I love the thin pizza. I do the too. The, uh, Christmas on the back. The, cr the crust is crunchy. Yes. This is great. See, first time. There's always a first on our show. Seven years I'm stealing somebody's food off the I, table. I love pizza and you can ask them. I don't eat it around where we live because it's disgusting. I don't like it. So you, got yes, a lot I do, you got a lot of pizza to take home tonight. All right, so we just got our dinner served here. Dave, what did you guys make for us tonight? What do we got? Well, let's see. Right here, you wanted a pulled pork sandwich. We got that with our Texas style barbecue sauce. You can also get it with Carolina if you want it. And that's our own pulled pork that we do for about 14 hours on a smoker's out back. And then the next thing you got here is our nachos, which are on our own potato chips that we make here. Now is this the regular size? I mean, you guys didn't That's push it. this up for the show. This is what you're gonna get when you order yep. that. Yep, That's you're gonna awesome. get a box if you don't want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> exactly. And then what do we got here? Yeah. This is our number one seller right now. This is Texas Twinkies. Okay. We take a fresh jalapeno, we cut it in half, we stuff it with cheese and brisket. Mm -hmm. And then we got our, our final and then dish. We got yeah. our ribs. Yep. We do them in our smoker out back for about six or seven hours. So when you do it with the brisket, it's going on this mac and cheese with the bacon. Yep, brisket, barbecue mac and cheese with the pulled pork, the lobster mac. Yeah, this is the bacon. That mac and cheese. That's awesome, man. Well, I got a lot of food here to eat, so I'm gonna get it. Dave, thank you again, man. We're gonna yeah. enjoy this. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Good, <laughs> good luck. That's what we get. All right, guys. So we're gonna jump right into the ribs here now. I, I better have the napkin ready because this is gonna be, this is gonna be extremely messy. I've been thinking about this all day. Let's see how this tastes. Well, that initial bite is that sweet bourbon sauce, which is really, really good. The ribs, very tender. They fell, I mean, it just, it like fell right off the bone when I went to taste it. Mm. It's gonna be a messy dish, so I'm gonna have to come back to that. But now we gotta try one of these jalapeno Texas Twinkies, which are one of my favorite appetizers, but we've never had one with brisket in it. Let's see how this tastes. Definitely has a different element to it with the brisket and the cream cheese. But then you got the bacon yet again, the bourbon barbecue sauce over the top. That's the first I've ever had that. That's fa absolutely fantastic. Last thing and I'm gonna get to eat here are these nachos. We're gonna go right in. We're gonna get a little pulled pork. We're gonna get some cheese, a little scallion. Mm, well, you know what? What makes this, obviously the pulled pork is phenomenal. That sauce again, the cheese, but these homemade chips. Crispy, great flavor. Wow. 
that's phenomenal. All right, guys, we got a lot of food to eat here. We're gonna get at it. We'll see you guys when we're done. All right, so we just finished a great show here at the Stockyard Public House slash Rub and Butts Barbecue, and we had an amazing night here tonight. Uh, Dave, I want to thank you again for incredible hospitality. Your staff was awesome. The food was fantastic. Thank you again, man. We had a great time. No problem. Thank you. We'll and see we'll, you again soon. We're definitely going to come back. A night where I can sit and actually enjoy the food and hang out a little bit. But guys, if you haven't been here, make sure you like their Facebook page. Give them a like. Check out their menu. It's huge. They got something for everybody. You, you can't go wrong, but you got to save room for dessert especially the fried ice cream, that was out of this world. I could probably eat another couple of those, but we're, we're not gonna tonight. So you guys did a great job in the kitchen, the staff, bartenders, thank you again tonight for a great night. Unfortunately, I gotta leave for the night, but I'll definitely be back to visit these guys soon. So, I'm Bill Vinci, host of the Empire Plate Show. You guys have a great night.